Eugene Goodman, Capitol Police officer, under assault two weeks ago, now escorting the vice president-elect. Ladies and gentlemen, the Vice President-Elect of the United States, Kamala Devi Harris and Mr. Douglas Imhoff. Lindsay Davis, you can see it in her eyes. She's smiling behind me. You her can eyes. see it. Her eyes are smiling. She's got her pearl on as well. You know, her Secret Service code name is Pioneer, and that is just how so many see her. Of course, first woman district attorney in San Francisco, uh, first woman attorney general in California, only the second black woman to become a U.S. senator. And all this, uh, just as a reminder, from a woman who was born at a time when all black women in this country still could not vote. And, and so certainly this is a real moment. Of course, she just gave the fist bump to uh, former President Barack Obama. And, and I would imagine you were talking about the young girls, and, and I'd like to use Kamala's own words. So she said in the past that they see themselves in a way that others may not, simply because they've never seen it before. And as I imagine as a result of this moment that the young women and girls everywhere are going to dream a bit bigger and perhaps expect just a little more. Hugs there for her stepchildren. David Muir, Doug Emhoff is going to carve out a new role we've never seen before, second gentleman. And he helped choose what he would be called. Second gentleman was, of course, uh, on the list of possibilities. He's comfortable with that. So we will call him the second gentleman. He's given up his post in a prestigious law firm uh, out west. He will now teach at Georgetown, as Cecilia mentioned earlier in our coverage here. And his children have talked in recent days about how they call their own father, their dad, Doug. They said they're so comfortable with him and who he is that they also call him Doug in the household. And they, they said, our parents have such a relationship, they've been married six years or, or so now, that is so connected, so tight, so close, that it weirds us out in so many words. The sort of romance that's still alive, they say, between uh, Doug and, and the vice president-elect. But they support Mamala, as they call her, and it's a very close relationship, a very modern family. Uh, Kamala Harris very close to their mother. And as you mentioned, George, earlier, they've all had dinner together. Kamala Harris telling me when she was running for president, that she is all about people knowing that she hears them, she sees them. She repeated that when she was chosen by Joe Biden. And one of the key things as we head into this historic day is not only, not only is she the first woman to be vice president, as Byron said, children, young daughters, and sons all over America are now learning in real time what's possible in America. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.